I don't, yeah, I don't, uh, uh, I don't, I'm not really a collector. Yeah, Chap's not really a big movie kind of guy. That's alright. Oh well. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not very keen on movies. I'm more of, um, I'm like, I'm like the Mr. Garrison, I'm on music. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. That's a problem. They're a problem. Hence my two, hence my two guitars. Mm. Or er, shit, no. Three, what? Uh, four guitars. I had four guitars. And we're in game two of this weekend's Family Feud Marathon, our last of July. And uh, please tell me you didn't cut the camera before that birthday suit comment. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the birthday suit comment in there. But I just mentioned it now. Oh. Yay! Damn it! Oh well. Alrighty. So Rob, I'll let him go second this game. Chap, you wanna go second in game three or four? Uh three. Three? Alright, I'll go second in the last game. Alright. That way I make it fair for everybody. There was, there was one story I forgot to mention from the 4th of July show. Let's hear it! So my mom had a box for bed. This was the 26th of June, so just a little bit to go. There was a blade that father so late, and that's not it. Uh, mom said, cause your eyes. Dad closes one eye. Both of them. Dad closes both eyes. Hold out your hands, and Dad puts some other boobs. You never know what's gonna be up there. Boy, the records, he did not grip them or anything. He just touched them on the booze. And that bet, that scarred you right there, didn't it, Marty? Yes, yeah, pretty much. What are you gonna do? But, but his dad, but his dad told me while we were in Virginia, he said, son, you're you're 20 years old now. You're going to hear things that you've probably never heard before. Welcome to adulthood. Mm -hmm. Next day. You know what I would have said when your uh, dad said, son, you're 29? You know what I would have said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and? And? I was thinking of dessert. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Just for future reference. Right. But you don't have to, though. It's up to you, so. <laughs> nah. And yes, Marty, that story where your dad put your hand, uh, touched your mom's boobs, I shared that with Crystal. And? <laughs> you should have seen and heard her reaction. Uh-huh. <laughs> One of these days, Marty, I'm actually going to let you tell the stories to her personally through Discord or something. I don't know. Oh, that'd be fun. She would definitely get a kick out of them. Oh, yes, definitely. Is it that? Ah. Good guess, but it's not right number one. Bigaroopa! <sighs> Missed. So yeah, Marty, I will be at S and D tonight, but I'm also gonna be at S and R too. Right. Mark did mention that he's going to be a little bit late for the Disney Scenic game, so he wanted me to wait until he got there, and I told him, yeah, that's fine. I can do that. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Louie just comes out of nowhere saying, good answer.
Let's see if it's up there. Good answer. Sorry. This has been turned. Number two, one more strike, and you get a chance to steal. Another player, okay. Got an answer for it? Where does that have to be? Where does that have to be? Where does that have to be? So far, this marathon, I think we've had five clean sweeps. You did it. Way to go. Yeah, let's do that, Louie. Family number one, you are off to a great start. Thanks, old meathead, Louie. <laughs> Let's go. It's time for round two. Oh, another thing. We're surely 100 people. Top more action on the board. Here we go. Are you ready? Name something you expect to see in a bachelor's refrigerator. Oh, this is a good question. Okay. Name something you'd expect to see in a bachelor's refrigerator. Oh, booze. Yep. Yeah! You got it! My number one answer! Play? Family number one? Going to play. Name something you expect to see in a bachelor's refrigerator. You never know what's going to be up there. Seven. Good guess, but it's not up there. Strike number one. 
Cold cuts, yep. Yeah. Something you expect to see in a bathroom refrigerator. We have booze and cold cuts. There's two left. Boy, it's a tough question. Mm hmm. I'm just going to go with leftovers. I don't know why. You never know what's going to be up there. Well, they, they could be there. Nope. Okay, well, that was a good answer, though. I thought it would be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. One more strike, and you're up, family number two. Another player, you need another answer. Name something you expect to see in a bachelor's refrigerator. <laughs> Booze and cold cuts. Something you expect to find in a bachelor's refrigerator. Leftovers was not there. Neither was soda. I'm just going to say water because I don't know. I'm running out of answers. No, strike three. Jeez. I can't believe it's not there. Sorry. Next family. Next family member. What do you say? Name something you expect to see in a bachelor's refrigerator. Escargot? What? Ew! Wow. Wow. Something you'd expect to find in a bachelor's refrigerator. Escargot? Good answer. It's not there, sorry. Yeah, when we spend a lot of money on the wedding, spending that much more money, come on now. I'll say it again. Ew! What do you think, Rob? I'll tell you in a second. The other answers were mold, ew, and TV dinners. The question, Rob, was they had something you'd expect to find in a bachelor's refrigerator, and they, the other family said escargot. Ew. Yeah, but as for the answer of mold being up there, I'll say it again. Ew. But TV dinners, wouldn't you put a TV dinner in a freezer and not a refrigerator? I don't know. No, no. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. You didn't have me on a conversation with my mother, did you? <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. And you, you would you, you would pass you would pass out if I told you what it was about. Sure. <laughs> Name something you talk to, knowing it won't answer back. Uh the TV. <laughs> Did you say the dog? Because I do that all the time. I'll go with the dog next, or a pet. <sighs> TV is there, but three answers are more popular. It's up 
A stuffed animal. That's a good one. You never know what's going to be up there. That's actually a good answer, but is it going to make the survey? It did not, surprisingly enough, so I'll take the question. Play. Family number one is going to play. Your pet. Is it there? Yep, number one answer, animal. Animal? Our top answer. Way to go. A plant. Let's see if it's up there. There it is. Good answer. <laughs> One answer to go. The mirror. Good answer. Good answer. There we go. Way to go. Yes, family number one, those ones. That's it for the third round. Let's look at this we're one. about to be in round four, and then we're going to fast money. Oh, oh thank you, What? Uh, I was doing the impression of Ernest. You were what? I said I was doing an impression of Ernest P. Wall. Oh, okay. Normally. No, no, no. Nothing for the subject of Ernest. How many uh, Ernest movies did you have? All of them. Somebody's, somebody's speaking my language. <laughs> Normally. I have all of them, Rob. Well, the ones made by Touchstone, anyway. Oh, cool. From uh, Ernest Goes to Camp to Ernest Scared Stupid. 100 people, sir. I have Ernest Stitch, Stupid, and Ernest Stitch Christmas. Both on VHS. Ernest Goes to Camp and Ernest Goes to Jail. I have on VHS. You used to have Ernest Stitch Christmas, didn't you? Yeah, on VHS before I transferred it. Now, Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, and Ernest Goes to Jail, I have all those on Blu-ray. Oh, cool. Yeah. But there was one uh, Ernest movie that you had on VHS. Very yeah, only one. I do have Ernest Goes to Jail recorded on a blank DVD. It was recorded off one of the Stars channels back in the mid 2000s. Oh, cool. Is Ernest like a white Medea or what? Uh, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> Except that, yeah, Jim Varney's portrayal is Ernest spot on. Exactly. Wait. 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 No way. No way. <laughs> I remember way back in the day, I used to have. I used to have um, Blame It on the Billboy, and it had a picture for Ernest Scared Stupid. 
the first thing around your home to start making noise in the morning. Don't you have laminate on the billboard, Aubrey? Yeah. All right. So you transmit it to a DVD. Mm-hmm. And on that tape, it has people who are earnest, scared, stupid. I think it does. I have to double check and make sure. It's been a while since I've watched Lightning on the Bellboy. I used to have that on VHS many, many years ago. Oh, right on. I don't even know what happened to that. I'm Good answer. Good answer. Is it up there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Which game is this? Game two, and we're, we're in the fourth round. Alright. We have two more games to do after this. Besides your alarm clock, what's the first thing around your home to start making noise in the morning? Alright. Show me that. Absolutely. Mm. Is it there? Survey says it's time for fast money. Yes, there we go. Already. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> nice sarcasm, Louie. He just comes out of nowhere saying good answer. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> nice chat. <laughs> Alright, so Rob, get on deck. Batten, get ready. Oh boy. I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, what a game. Fast money round is family number one. It's a fast money round. Pick two players from your family. Alright, I'm ready. I know you are, Batman. And we're going to get underway here shortly. Okay. All right. Let's find out those questions. All right, Batten. Name a present given as a token of love. Flower. There you go. Or rose, either way. Tell me how long your average phone conversation lasts. Probably 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> What, name the age when teenagers sprout up in height. Probably 16. Okay. Name something used to apply makeup. A brush, because I should know this kind of question. Stupid answer. Oh, 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 no! Uh oh. Uh oh is right. That. Name a violent sport. Name a violent sport? You know what? <laughs> yeah, I, this could be up there, but how about sex with a football? What? <laughs> Say what? Sex with a football. I don't even want to know. Yeah, bro, I'm probably be <laughs> Everybody need blood involved from that. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers got. I mean, it can't be as bad as general jousting. Oh! <laughs> Twenty minutes. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Name the age when teenagers brought up in height. Sixteen. That oh, got. Eleven. You said a brush. That's true. 
That got 47. I knew that one because I do makeup. You said having sex with a football, which got 33! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we've had that one before. <laughs> <laughs> if only y'all could see my face right now. Well, I'm gonna say sex with a uh, chap balls, but I think I'd be nice. You dumb bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Now I'll let Chuck say the magic words when Michelle comes back. Go ahead, Matt, and ask it. Yes. Hello? <laughs> Anyways, Rob. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Batten did much better this time. Oh. 125 points. Oh, wow. All you need is 75. You can do it. All right. Name a present given as a token of love. What was already said? Flowers. Oh, man. Does anybody have an answer for me? A ring. Oh, ring. Okay. ring around the finger. Tell me how long your average phone conversation lasts. Oh, fuck. Uh, I have no idea. Ten minutes. Name the age when teenagers sprout up in height. What was already said? Uh, sixteen. No, no. Thirteen. Name something used to apply makeup. Uh, uh, I don't know. A wand. No, no, a sponge. Sponge, yes. Yeah. And name a violent sport. What was already said? Sex with a football. Oh, God. How about boxing? There you go! Oh, yeah, boxing. That's the right one. Let's see how you did. Name a present given as a token of law. A ring. That got. 49! Oh, Lord. Thank you, Rob Decay. Ten minutes. Twenty-eight! We got it! Oh, we got ten grand? We got the ten grand. Fucking okay. A! And we're coming back for game three in just a bit. <laughs> and all I can say, Batten, is about your stupid answer. Really? Yeah, well... I mean, I mean, you know, I made up for that last game. Hey. Yeah. Matt, I don't need to cut you off, but I'm going to step away. I'm going to get myself some meat. Go ahead, Rob. Get yourself some meat. <laughs> <laughs>